In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up the Live Split Auto Splitter for the Rocky League Air Race map. Let's get started. In this first part, I'll be showing you how to set up Live Split for the Auto Splitter. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually get Live Split on LiveSplit.org. It's where this can be found. Under the Downloads page, we have the current version, which we should download. I've, uh, I've already downloaded this to make this a little bit quicker, but you should definitely download this right now. And then next we'll come over to Components, and Live Split Server should be the second one at the top. We're going to want to get this LiveSplitServer.zip right here, and also click this and it'll start another download. And so once we've got those downloaded, you can see here in my Downloads folder, we've got those. I'll move them to my desktop, make it a little bit easier. And we're going to want to extract these. So with the Live Split Server, we'll go ahead and extract that. Should be right there. And then for the actual live split, we'll go ahead and extract that. Okay, we're done with these zips. Let me get rid of those. Now we're going to want to open up our live split folder as well as this live split server folder. In our live split folder, we're going to want to open up the components and then drag these into this components folder. All right, we're done with the live split server. And now we just have our good old live split. So now we can get this started just by running this. Ooh, don't want to rename. Just re just run it. And there we go. And close out of this. We've just got a little timer here. Now we're gonna want to customize this just a little bit to get this set up for the air race. If we uh, first thing we're gonna want to do is come to edit layout, and right here click this plus button, go to control, and then live split server. We're going to want to make sure that we have this in here, otherwise we won't be able to auto-split. So now that we have this, let's, uh, let's while we're here, let's also add in under list splits. I like to put my splits at the top, just so we can see each, each section that we go through. Uh, we can just click OK. Now this is, uh, is very bland. Just got a blank timer. These are supposed to be our splits, but it's, uh, they're not filled out at all. So we'll come to Edit Splits, and this is where you can name your splits. Um, in total, you do need 13 splits for the Air Race map. You can name them whatever you like. It really doesn't matter. I'll, uh, I'll put in my names real quick. And so now that we have our uh, 13 segment names in here, this is what the, uh, the auto, split, auto Splitter plugin expects there to be. We can change our game name to uh, just Panics Aries. And this should be good to go for this. So if we click OK, we can see now that we have uh, these splits showing up here. One thing that I do like to do under our layout, if we come to splits, uh, not timer, but we can just go to splits here change our total splits to 13 so that way it'll show all of our splits and another thing that should be done is the accuracy under here I change everything to hundreds just because we want to be pretty accurate with uh, this map uh, timer doesn't have anything okay we can click OK okay and now we can see that we have uh, we have this going on right here. Now that we have Live Split up and running, we're going to want to get the plugins that we need to connect to it. So the first one is the speedrun tools made by Easy Percent. You can find that on the Bakke's Mod plugins website and install this whichever way you prefer. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, the next thing that we're going to need is a, uh, a media fire link to the auto splitter DLL as well as the settings file. You're going to want to download these. I've already done that to make it a little faster, but uh, you're going to want to download both of these. And if you like, I do have the source code for this up on a GitHub page. So you can view the source code if you like and also compile it yourself. Um, but that's up to you. And so now that we have these things, let's, uh, ooh, let's hide that code. 
we'll open up the downloads folder where we have this. And if we want to install this into Bakkezmod, best way to do it is open up our Bakkezmod uh, application here. Go to File, Open Bakkezmod folder, and we're going to want to come to our plugins right here. We're going to want to drag and drop this into here. I already have this, so I will uh, skip for now. But you're going to want to drag and drop that into here. And same thing with the settings. Drag and drop this into here, and I already have this, so I'll skip this. But uh, once you have that, your auto splitter is there. And if you want, you can just double check that you do have the speed run tools in here. This is very, uh, very crucial. Will not work without this. Now that we have all of these steps set up into place, uh, there is a binding that I recommend you have. So under bindings, I have it bound to my, uh, the down on my D-pad. You can bind this to whatever you like. If we just double click on this, we can start typing in air race and you'll see the auto split. You can ignore the training ones, but if you do the toggle enabled, save that and then we'll save again. What this will do is every time you call this command, it will either enable or disable the plugin, just switch between the two, but it will only do that when you are inside the air race map. So calling it out here does nothing. One final thing that we do need to do with live split, and you do need to do this every time you start up live split. You right click this, go over to control, and at the very bottom, click start server. This will start up the server that will be listening. So now we can hop over to the air race map. Right here. We can see uh, it's currently not enabled. I saw I should move this a little bit so you can see. Every time I call this, there is a uh, little text box that pops up so you can see if it's enabled or disabled. And whenever it is enabled, your spawn will always be this right here. You will always spawn to this checkpoint right here. It, it's just the way that it's implemented, makes it very easy to determine when you're starting and not. And so now we have it enabled, we're at this checkpoint, and we can get started. We can see that our timer has started. I'm a great racer here. And we can see that it's uh, started splitting right here. So as you run through the map, each checkpoint that you fly over, it will split on it for you. And you can see your times and compare that. And so I hope this has been helpful for you. And I hope you enjoy. And I uh, can't wait to see you using this plugin.